Hallo. Hey man, what are you doing? Like, do you just put up your tent or? I mean, yeah, yes. <laughs> I just thought this was a good place to tent. This, this is my home. A beautiful home. Yeah, okay. I've had this with these stalkers. Here, take the keys. Thank you, man. Yeah, we're leaving. That was obviously not a stalker. That was actually my good friend Arnulf. Arn, Arnulf. Arnulvur. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It's really tricky to pronounce. That's why he goes by the name of that Icelandic guy. So yeah, we don't have stalker problems. That was a total clickbait. But you're here watching, so you might as well just enjoy it. But it was not clickbait that we are leaving Sweden. We are actually in another country right now. I just have to show you the place we're staying at. It's absolutely insane. It's literally magical. It's like staying at Hogwarts. If you don't believe me, just check this out. I honestly don't know where to begin. It took a while for me to actually believe it myself. <sighs> okay, are you guys ready? When I pull this one upwards, it's gonna come fresh water out of this, uh, they call it a tap. You don't have to collect water from a creek, you don't have to carry it anywhere, it just... Ta-da! This is just the beginning, let me, let me show you the rest. This is a shower inside of the house <laughs> i mean come on like no matter what kind of weather it is outside i can stand in here and take a shower and you know what the best part is let me let me show you if i turn on that one i get warm water if i turn on that one i get cold water and don't even get me started on this thing when you've done your business you press this button right here and it all just disappears. I have no idea where it goes, but I don't think I want to know. It's just a magical toilet. No more emptying the poo bucket, no more cleaning up, it just disappears. I feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. Look what I got sent to me. It's from a guy called Dylan. He's a subscriber of the channel, actually. So one of you guys, I know what's inside this because they've sent me a picture. And I just can't wait, wait to show you what's inside. But I'm gonna do that a bit later in the video, actually. I think this whole trip like represents so much why I chose this lifestyle. Not the simple lifestyle, but more the ability to be able to choose how and when and where to work and how and when and where to have free time as well. I feel like it's such a privilege to be able to leave your home like we've done now, leave in the cabin and then go into this beautiful country uh, for a few weeks and still be able to work from here. The goal of quitting 9 to 5 has never been to work less actually. I've never worked this much in my entire life as I do right now. But the big difference is compared to when I worked in a store in Stockholm, like selling shoes and sportwear stuff. The very big difference is that I'm doing something that makes me happy, that makes me feel excited to get up in the morning. And I feel truly inspired doing what I do. I've started every morning the same way since we got here. Waking up, or actually to Sonala waking us up, 
and then I've taken them for like an hour and a half or two hour walk in the forest. It's like this maze of uh, mountain bike trails. They go on forever in there, which is amazing. And when I come back, Christina has breakfast ready and then we eat a meal together and then we just start working. Christina have made an hour long video for her woman's circle and I recorded like three or four new episodes for my podcast. And if you haven't checked that out yet, just search for My True North. I can leave a link in the, the description as well so you can find it. And besides the podcast recordings, I've also spent almost every hour of the day writing my new ebook that is coming out in a few weeks. The book is called Live More With Less. Design a life you don't need vacation from. Maybe you can recognize yourself in that you've chosen safety and comfort over happiness. That's at least what I did before I left the city, moved into the cabin and started my own creative business. This is the book I wish I had when I started my own journey. The book is for you who are curious about making a change in your life. You will get the tools to help you finally push through procrastination, stay motivated and keep yourself accountable. Like I said before, it's not about working less. This book is about how you can work and live smarter and in a more meaningful way. Taking active decisions and not let your life take them for you. It is about putting yourself in the driver's seat. The book is filled with several creative challenges, chapters about different sources of income, and I share the methods I used myself to bring me to where I am today. I know making a change in your life can feel hard if you're alone, and I strongly believe that we are way stronger if we help and support each other. So everyone that buys the book will also get access to an exclusive alumni community. See it as an after party to the book. Each chapter and challenge has its very own designated chat rooms, where you can discuss and continue the conversation about the book with all the others that are reading it together with you. If you want to be the first to know when the book is going live, sign up to my newsletter by jumping over to my website. Link in the description. A lot of us, including myself, have chosen comfort over happiness. Like choosing a steady job with a steady income, even though you didn't like the job. Or staying in a relationship because it's safe, but it doesn't make you happy. Staying safe or staying in a comfort zone is actually, in my opinion, really dangerous. I can take an example from my own life. I've stayed at so many workplaces, which I've absolutely hated, but I've stayed because I've been feeling safe in the idea of having a constant salary. But now, when I actually do think about it, it's more scary for me to be trapped in a bubble where I'm not feeling inspired every time, every day I'm going up to work. That's way more scary than not being, like not knowing when the next salary is coming and how much, like doing this YouTube thing, I have no idea how much is coming in each month. It's so depending on the season, it's so depending on what videos I make, and it's really unsafe, but it makes me happy. And I believe if you wanna make a change in your life in any direction, it could be quitting your job, buying a dog, breaking up with your partner or whatever. I'm not encouraging you to break up with your partner, just trying to give you some ideas where, where you could go. If you're gonna know like what path to choose, base it on how much happiness that path brings to you. Does that make sense? When I think about creating videos or when I think about that I actually do live in a cabin in the woods, woods, which I've always dreamt about, that brings me true happiness. And yeah, it's a pain in the ass to live there because it's a lot of work and it's literally seeking discomfort all day long, but it makes me happy. And that's what is more, most important to me. I don't care if it's this comfortable. I care about, in the end of the day, feeling and being happy. Then yeah, you're gonna meet a lot of obstacles on the way, especially if you're going after something that makes you happy, that's gonna provoke a lot of people because they don't want you to break free because then they have to think about their life choices. So 
It's not always going to be supported what you do. Embrace those optical obstacles and learn that like obstacle is a way of knowing how much you actually do want it. If there are more obstacles to like beat, yeah, it's going to be a lot of work, but you're going to prove to yourself every obstacle that you're overcoming that you really, really do want this. I had to fight a lot to write this ebook. I've had to fight a lot to be in the cabin, but that's part of it. Like fighting the obstacle and proving to yourself that this is what you want. Last time I was on this exact path, uh, I was here in Denmark to pick up Christina so she could move into the cabin. That's a whole year ago, like it goes so fast. Officially, me and Christina are on something that we call healthy week. My family has been visiting for a while here and we have eaten quite bad or at least a bit unhealthy so now we're back on healthy week but since she's not around at the very moment I don't think that this one counts right she's gonna see this video way later by then we're probably back on an unhealthy week it's cool mm. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go full on professional YouTuber. Uh, I'm gonna do my first unboxing. I think that's at least what real YouTubers do. They do unboxings. Uh, like I said in the beginning, this package is from a guy called Dylan. He's only 22 years old and he, subscri he is a subscriber of the channel. And he reached out and asked if he, if he could help me with anything. Uh, and I don't wanna give away what he does for a profession because that was, would give, give away what's actually in the package. Uh, but we talked for a while and then he sent me this. Let's open it. <laughs> and there's another package in the package. Now we're getting closer, I think. Ooh, 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 here we are. Oh, dude. Look at this beauty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jesus Christ, Dylan. He made this. Dylan, you're a champion. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. This is unreal. Dylan saw one of my videos where I was cutting down trees with the axe that is supposed to be used as a, like splitting firewood. Then he reached out and said like, you know, that's the, the, the wrong axe. And I was like, yeah, I know <laughs> that I only have one axe, but now I have a proper one that I can actually cut down trees with. Oh, this is kind of the craftsmanship that you almost don't want to use. But at the same time, I think this will be even more beautiful when you get some marks on it and really get used. Dylan, thank you so much. Um, he does knives, access, and a lot of other things. I left his work in the description, so please check it out. He didn't pay me to say this or anything. He was just a very kind subscriber that sent this. I never thought I could get emotional <laughs> for, for seeing an ax. Christina is sitting inside and having a live stream with her woman circle and I'm, I'm not allowed to go in <laughs> because I'm obviously a man but I'm so proud of her what she's done with this woman circle is just yeah, it's amazing very very proud boyfriend Do you remember that earlier in the video I mentioned I've recorded a bunch of new podcast episodes? One of the episodes is with Joakim Ingelstad. He took his painting skills from being like a hobby to his actual full-time living now, which is so inspiring. And you might have seen him in Lena Henningsen's videos as well, but he's of course his very own person. 
So that's why I wanted to him, interview him as well. It's been an insane path. I mean, I'm 30 now and for like eight years, I've been kind of wandering in the wilderness and it's been a lot of downs and times with horrible depressions and um, it's been it's been really really hard to get here i thought about if i was gonna uh, talk about this or not but i think it's a good thing for a lot of people when i lived in a city i actually uh, when i was uh, 20 or something i actually got diagnosed bipolar and the other podcast episode i did was with none other than adrian and you might have seen him in johnny jinton's videos when she's remodeling and renovating her van so i wanted to know his backstory moving from england having, in his own words, kind of a miserable life and then moving to Sweden, actually finding his dream life right now. So I wanted to hear his own words about that story. Something had to change. Work was crap. Life was crap. You're stuck in these tiny little houses. You go out in the middle of the night. There's always people around. There's no, there's no privacy. There's no um, aloneness. You can't be alone. There's always someone there. I hated it. The horrible thoughts are so easy to listen to, so difficult to ignore. But just think good things are coming to everyone. I, I truly believe that positive thinking has a positive effect on your life. I've learned that, to think in positive and it actually happens. I consider myself one of the luckiest people in the world to be working for your friend, doing something you truly love. It doesn't happen often. The episodes with Joachim and Adrian is actually already live and you can listen to them right now and I put them on a platform called Nebula. Nebula is a platform I built together with a bunch of my creator friends. It's a platform where we can create more freely and we don't have to worry about the YouTube algorithm and you guys don't have to worry about ads like, like this one I'm doing right now because Nebula is totally ad free. And we creators at Nebula have right now teamed up with CuriosityStream. If you like documentaries like I do, CuriosityStream is gonna be your new favorite place. They have thousands of documentaries just waiting for you, like Ocean, Twilight Zone, or maybe Seasons of the Forest. CuriosityStream have documentaries for everything. Everything from science to history to technology, nature, lifestyle, society, and they even have a whole category for just kids. And right now, you will get all the bonus material over at Nebula, including the interview with Joachim and Adrian, plus full access to the thousands of documentaries on CuriosityStream. All of that for only $15 for a whole year. The only thing you need to do to get access to this deal is by hitting the link in my description. And that will also give you a 26% discount on the whole deal. And you can also type in curiositystream.com slash Kalle Flodin. Using the link in my description will directly support me and this channel going forward. So for that, I want to say thank you. That will be highly appreciated. Now, let's roll the very embarrassing bloopers. <laughs> you look so happy. <laughs> <Sorry. clears throat> really had it with this. <laughs> this is a lot. That's why he go. That's why he goes. That was obviously. That was obviously. <laughs> oh my God! It's so good that not people can see me here at all. Oh, this is too bad. Oh, okay. Hello there. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. <clears throat> I don't even hear that. <laughs> I don't even eat that. So could I, I feel like <laughs> kind of Christmas Eve. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Christmas. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Christmas Eve. Yeah. I feel like a kid on Christmas. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Christmas Eve. Oh, how hard could it be? I feel like a kid on Christmas. He has to do it. I'm sorry, I have to do it again. It's so... I had to do that. Have we stopped recording? Mm -hmm.
You think they bought it? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Don't forget to deal with Nebula and Curiosity Stream so you can right now go and listen to the very inspiring podcast episodes with both Adrian and Joachim. You can just click the link right up here and that will take you to the right place. Thank you guys for watching and we'll talk soon again. Bye-bye.